One of them was born and died on this day. The other two were also born on this day, 17 years apart, and were both played in a movie. Interestingly, one of these people was an actress in real life. Crazy coincidences today, folks. Keep watching to unravel this puzzle. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sotonye Fiesimama. Thanks for dropping by once again. If you're a subscriber, you're here for the first time, you are a returning visitor, thanks for dropping by. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so that you receive updates of my video uploads. I hope you enjoy this video today. It's an interesting one, like I said. Um, you know, I don't think there are many instances where I've come across where someone actually plays an actress, you know, someone who is an actress in real life. Um, this is an interesting one, so keep watching, guys. Okay, so we're going to roll back the blind now to the year 1814. On this day, the Treaty of Ghent, signed between the United States and Great Britain, this was signed in Belgium. So Ghent is a city in Belgium. Now, this treaty ended the War of 1812, marking a decline of American dependence on Europe and stimulating a sense of U.S. nationalism. So, again, this picture is a painting of the Treaty of Ghent, the signing of that treaty on this day in 1814. So, um, obviously, this as it says here, was the beginnings of you know, confidence. The United States was beginning to um, gain its confidence in the Committee of Nations. You know, it uh, was a, a rising, slowly rising world power. Again, um, it marked a decline of American dependence on Europe and stimulated a sense of U.S. nationalism. Okay, so let's move on to the year 1822. On this day, Matthew... Arnold, who is pictured right here. Matthew Arnold was an English Victorian poet, a literary and social critic noted especially for his classical attacks on contemporary tastes and manners of the barbarians. So he called the barbarians, so that's barbarians in quotes. I'm just going to move this so that you can see this quote clearly. So he called the barbarians <laughs> The aristocracy, so he referred to the aristocracy as barbarians, so barbarians in quotes. The commercial middle class he refers to as Philistines in quotes, and the populace, it doesn't give any um, derogatory names. Obviously, he had a lot of respect for the populace. So anyway, this is Matthew Arnold, English Victorian poet, who was born on this day. He was a literary and social critic noted especially for his classical attacks on the contemporary tastes and manners of the barbarians, the Philistines, and the populace. Okay, let's move on to the year 1837. But before we do that, what do you think about this quote by Matthew Arnold? He says, the free thinking of one age is the common sense of the next. You know, this is so true, I don't even know how else to express how true this is. You know, um, when you start something new, something um, that shakes the current belief system, it of course shakes the current belief system because it's new. People are not used to this new system. And then a few, depending on what it is, a few days, few weeks, few months, few years down the road, it becomes commonplace. A few decades, you know, it's like no big deal, no big deal. But at one point, that thing was new and was a big deal. Um, I don't want to really cite examples here, but look, look at racism, for instance, you know, how that has changed over the last century, the perception of people of other, other races, you know, mm -hmm. one race would look at one, the other as being superior, another looks at the other as being inferior. You know, and as, as time has gone on, the races have interacted. We've seen that we're all the same, basically. We're all the same. You know, you work hard, you have the right environment, the right nurturing environment, you do very well in school. It doesn't matter what your color is, you know, the color of your skin, it doesn't matter. You know, um, if you have, you're, you're raised in a similar environment to, to those who you think are superior to you. So a lot of times you outperform them. 
you know, and, and that is a fact. So there is no reason, absolutely no reason for racism. Um, like I said, the thinking 100 years ago would have been, you know, oh, these people are not as good as us. And then the other people would say, oh, these people are a lot better than us, you know. Um, in their subconsciousness, yeah, they would think because they've been suppressed, they feel that these people are better than them. But, you know, given the, the same similar nurturing environment, everyone performs very well. If you work hard, you do well in life. That's, you know, generally the case in 99.9% .9 of, of the time. Okay, um, I thought I'll just backtrack a bit and talk about this quote. I totally agree. The free thinking of one age is a common sense of the next. Okay, let's go on to the next event on this day. Elizabeth, born in 1837, who was she? She was Empress Consort of Austria. So that is Elizabeth, Prin Empress Consort of Russia, of Austria. She was born on this day in 1837, Empress Consort of Austria. We now move on to the year 1853. And yes, this is the lady who was born and died on her birthday. Her name is Octavia R. Albert. She was born in Oglethorpe, Georgia. Her book, The House of Bondage, consists of seven slave narratives collected by Albert, who was herself a former slave. So she died at a very young age of 37 on her birthday in 1890. So she was born in 1853. Her name again is Octavia R. Albert. She was a writer and uh, the title of her most popular book is The House of Bondage, which consisted or consists of seven slave narratives collected by her to form this book. Okay, let's move on now to my other, the answer to my other clue, my other puzzle. Yes, his name is Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, American manufacturer, aviator, and film producer. Howard Hughes was known for his reclusiveness and for the uses to which he put his vast wealth was born. So Howard Hughes was born on this day. So this is a guy who was played by Leonardo DiCaprio. So this again is what I said at the outset. One was born and died on this day. We've covered that. The other two, were also born on this day 17 years apart. So this is one of the two, one of the other two who was born on this day. And both were played in the movie. The movie is The Aviator. One was an actor in real life. We're coming to that. Crazy coincidences today. So keep watching, folks. We're going on to now. We're going to talk about Ava Gardner. The beautiful Ava Gardner was born on this day. She was an American actress. That's Ava Gardner picture here. Born in 1922. Um, yes, she was played by a lady. Um, I'm going to reveal what her name is. Well, yes, in The Aviator, this lady played Ava Gardner. In fact, go Google her up, I'm sure. It's a few, uh, few seconds away. Just type um, The Aviator and all the actors and actresses who featured in this film. Great film, by the way. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. So this lady played Eva Gardner and Leonardo DiCaprio played um, Howard Hughes. So someone was playing her, even though she was an actor in real life as well. But she was friends to um, Howard Hughes. Um, she claims that they were never in a relationship. She was never in love with him, but they had a 20-year friend, friendship. Apparently, Howard Hughes trusted her. He was an American uh, millionaire. He was an aviator. He was also a film producer as well. Okay, so they were both born on this day, 17 years apart. Howard Hughes in 1905 and Ava Gardner in 1922. Okay, December 24th, 1973, Eddie Pope, American soccer player, was born. He's the guy pictured here. He was born in Greensboro. North Carolina. I have been to Greensboro, actually. I drove through Greensboro four years ago during my um, road trip in the U.S. So Eddie Pope played for the U.S. national team and for the major league soccer teams, D.C. United, 
1996 to 2002 and Metro Stars 2003 to 2004 and the Real Salt Lake in 2005 to 2007. So happy birthday, Eddie Pope. Born on this day in 1973, he is 47 years old today. 1992, on this day, Alfonso Michael Espy, or Mike, became the first African-American appointed as Secretary of Agriculture. So Alfonso Michael Espy, first African-American appointed as Secretary of Agriculture. That happened on this day in 1992. Five years later, in 1997, Mifune Toshiro, pictured here, Japanese actor, known internationally for his energetic, flamboyant portrayals of samurai characters, especially in films directed by Kurosawa Akira, died near Tokyo. So Mifune Toshiro, Japanese actor, died near Tokyo on this day in 1997. Last but not least, English playwright Harold Pinter, pictured here, who achieved international renown and was awarded the 2005 Nobel Prize for Literature as one of the most complex and challenging post-war, post-World War II dramatists died at the age of 78. So Harold Pinter, English playwright, died on this day at the age of 78. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature, or he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2005. On that note, folks, we have come to the end of today's Today in History. I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, Find out a bit more about people, maybe the one or two people you've not heard of before. Um, I'd recommend you go watch The Aviator. It's a great film. You know, um, you know money is not everything. You know, people have money and yet they have they still have this burning ambition to achieve something. And such was um, uh, that was Howard Hughes for you, even though he was wealthy. He was passionate about flying, and he threw himself into his you know passion which is flying. I don't think, there are very few things in life that give you satisfaction uh, more than following your passion, you know, that burning desire inside you. Okay, guys, thanks for dropping by. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. That would be nice. That would help me uh, push this video to more people. And I'm um, still waiting for my 60th subscriber. That would be cool if that, that's you. Um, yeah, subscribe as well and share this video as well if you enjoyed it. Thanks for dropping by. Stay safe. And I shall see you tomorrow, December 25th, where millions and millions and millions of people will be celebrating Christmas. So if you do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas in advance. I shall see you tomorrow, Christmas Day, December 25th. Take care. Bye-bye.